keeps Georgia on my mind. Georgia, Georgia. I say just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on. Welcome everyone to our special program today on the parade coming up for the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade. And here we are again with Mr. James Holder. Welcome, Mr. Holder. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yes, today. sir. And Miss Laura Irwin. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming in and speaking with us today. Y'all are always so positive and you work so hard in our community, not only with the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade that comes about each year and we get to interview you on, but you, you're active in other parts of our community, in the church and throughout the community through sponsorships or for um, things for young people, uh, especially, you know, toward education. Yeah. Yes, sir. When I see you out and about and... I know you all have always wanted to be uh, members of the community, members of society who give back. Yes. And it shows in what you do and in your heart. So uh, what's the most rewarding part, Mr. Holder, of you being associated with and helping to put on the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade? Well, the important part to me is, is keeping the memory alive. And, and the second important thing is the young people I think I'd like to see the young people get involved where they can uh, know something about the history uh, of the past struggles and all. Yes, sir. It's easy for us to forget today what others have, have put forth before us in all walks of life. Yeah. You know, we there was a time in our country where it was pretty much a caste system. You know, if you weren't born into being able to do well, you didn't do well. That's true. Right. But That's true. through struggles right. from our people in our country right. and all of our people, our diverse country right. and supporting each other, we're to a point better now than ever. We're not where we need to be, right. no right. doubt, right. but we have come a long way. A long way. Long way. Right. So when you first started the idea, share with us again, I always love the story, Mr. Holder, of how you first started putting on the parade. Well, uh, Ms. Irving and I met up at the post office <laughs> Uh, and uh, I believe I asked her, uh, you know, after we talked a while, I believe I asked her, uh, you know, maybe we'll, she'd like to help start a parade. And uh, at, during that time, she was a, a chairperson with the Black Festival, and I was the president of the Dublin North Southern Christian Leadership Conference. And uh, both of us took it back to our members, and uh, they accepted the idea. Wonderful. And I believe we, we, we met in December, didn't you, Miss No, we met in, we spoke at the, at the post office in September, and we met, we had our first meeting in October. October, right, we had our very wow. first meeting. And the parade in January. Yeah, we had the parade in January. Y'all went to work, didn't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, it took and it. That was, right. We had that first meeting in uh, October of 94, and we presented our first parade January of 95. Right. Mm, wonderful. And it, it's been growing and doing better and rewarding yes. since then, hasn't Ever it? Ever since then. Ever since then. It has grown and right. you know, it has gotten yeah. better. Mm -hmm. right. you know. More and more participation, yes, more, more and more, and more the more. community turning out to be yes. a part of it. Yes. And from mm -hmm. out, of, out of town, out of county, mm -hmm. uh, Components have come in to be with us. Do y'all remember who the first Grand Marshal was? Yes, sir. The first Grand Marshal was Dr. John T. Wolf, president of Savannah State College. Wonderful. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure he graciously accepted that first year. Yes, he did. Yeah. And so how many years has the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade been going on? What year will this be? 22nd. Wow. 22 years 20 coming up. years straight. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, you can be a part of the parade. I know a lot of our community is a part of it. I, I speak to them throughout the year, and especially when it gets this time of year, they start mentioning it to yes. me right. as far as being a part of it and what they want to do this year and how they're going to be involved in it. 
Uh, and it's just wonderful. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. right. I know it is for you all oh, yeah. every single year. Right. It, and just to have that accomplishment coming up on 22 years of service to the community, of, of remembering a struggle that wasn't easy by any means. No. Yeah. And, and times have changed a lot. A lot of people forget yeah. about that, how much times have changed. Right. Uh, people are, it, it amazes me sometimes when someone will say, you know, people weren't receptive to it then, but now they are. That's right. And that's a good thing. That's a mighty good thing. It, it, it's so different now. It is so much better now. Mm -hmm. You know, we, a uh, lot of organizations and persons did not accept it. Mm -hmm. right. What we went on anyway, because right. that was Dr. King's way of doing things. Mm -hmm. If you know you are on the path to doing something right, you are going to have opposition. Of course. But with love, you go on forward. Mm -hmm. Yes. And opposition isn't a negative thing. It could be reinforcing for you. That's right. Because you expect that Absolutely. when you're doing right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Tell us again about the first uh, parade in the weather that day and what all transpired, well, Mr. Well, Ho. Well, it was a rainy day. Uh, I know we'll forget that day. Mm -hmm. A lot of people called and asked if we go to council. We said, no, we're going to go on with it. And, uh, it so happened, we was talking about it earlier, you know, we put it together right quick. It just so happened, some of the children brought their instrument home for, for the holiday. Uh -huh. and, and we dressed them up in sweat shirts and all, and, and they performed in the parade. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it turned out good. We had good participation. Uh, then many people turned out then, but it, like you said earlier, it's been growing ever since. Right. We've really been blessed. Yeah. And, uh, and many times, just to do something right, to do something worthwhile the first time, right. that's important. That's important. Mm -hmm. uh, we, if we just stop, who knows what would happen. That's right. If we let the rain stop this way. Mm -hmm. it went on. Now, you've always been involved with Southern Christian. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I was uh, elected president a year before the parade. Uh -huh. Once I... That was that was in my mind of starting that mm -hmm. when I became president. Mm -hmm. I, I come up through the ranks. I served as treasurer, vice president, and uh, on up to president, and then on up to the state and national level. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm uh, the vice chairman of the state SCLC mm -hmm. uh, and I'm on the board of the national. Well, we're international now because right. we're doing a lot of great. And apple rain, cross seed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even though things, a lot of things stay the same, your goals and your ambitions and your, your uh, things that you want to do each year change. You want to grow, you want to do more. Hopefully you accomplish what you set out to do last year and you're looking on to grow and do more this year. Right. So, mm -hmm. so things have changed with the Southern Christian now. Tell us how that's changed over time. Yes, well it went from national organization to uh, international organization. Mm -hmm. uh, some of uh, the leaders in, in Africa and all, they, they want to be free. Yes. And they want to know how, how we do it, right. how we did it, and how we're doing it. Mm -hmm. And so we have people uh, spending time over there. We have young people go over there in the summertime, like it changed students and all. Yes. And so we, we're very much involved in mm -hmm. what's going on in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, several, several projects in, in in the major city. One one of the projects that the international is working on, you know, it's a lot of trapping. With, with young yes, girls. right. And, and that's one of the things. Amen. That, that the national yeah. is working on. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you see a problem, you address it, and you right. want rights for all people. All people. All, all people. people. And, and it wasn't a, a black-white issue. It was not only black people back in the day that were being taken advantage right. of, but women, women uh, yeah. people who were poor. Right. So many people benefited. So many people benefited. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, can't, you can't help one group of people without helping others. Helping up help another. Everybody, everybody mm -hmm. benefited. It was better for all of us. Mm -hmm. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. And finally, it seems like in our country we're coming to the realization that uh, I, 
I would say, uh, well-learned people, intelligent people, smart people, whatever way, they just may have had uh, a good sense about them, knew that diversity mm -hmm. is so important. Yes, absolutely. You know, we have to, to use the abilities and skills and talents of, of all people yes. that we have, yes. or you, you're not reaping the full benefit. Right. Our society won't, our, our families won't, our neighborhoods and yes. communities won't. Yes. So I, I'm, I'm very pleased to be able to sit here today and, and speak to y'all about this wonderful event coming up again. It, it, will, it will be on the 16th. The 16th. Mm -hmm. The 16th. What 12, time? 12 o'clock shop. 12 noon. Right. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we start on time. We'll be moving out at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. wow. And, right. and we, we have the... The bands coming from out of town this time. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have Savannah State on last year, but they are coming this year. Wonderful. And Savannah, I mean, for Valley bought a small band mm -hmm. last year, mm -hmm. but they see what was going on down here, so they're going to bring a full band this time. Good. And Good. The twigs kind of. Yep, they joined us last year. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. We just love uh, being able to be a part of it, letting people know about it and get involved. Now, what number do they need to call or how do they need to get in touch with y'all to be a part if they're not already? Well, yeah, yeah. They, they can call myself, James Holder, 478-697-1366. They can also call Mr. Irving here at uh, 478 272 Three nine six six yeah. and Miss Nadine Hunt. Okay. Uh, two seven two. Five nine eight three. Five nine eight three. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and so go ahead and make plans now. Be a part. Go ahead and call if you cannot for some reason you want to support. You just call those numbers and and you give what you can and be a part of of this wonderful parade. And and Miss Irvin. It really just kicks off, to me, Black History Month coming along. You know, it's a wonderful time, and I know it's its own event, but to me, it's the beginning of a, of a historical month for us. Yes, right. it is. It really is. And so did you have that vision from the start that you, you thought it would just, of course it works hand in hand with it, but just grow that effort? Well, the vision was, um, yes, they do tie in together. But um, what our, I would say, grassroots vision was to have this event so that the young people could learn who Dr. King was and what he did. And the older people could carry on his legacy of doing for people and serving mankind mm -hmm. out of love, regardless of who you are. And you know what? Um, if we go back to the beginning, in the beginning God created the heaven and earth. Who made us? Who made everything we see? Mm -hmm. And how is it that we can act as if though God made a mistake. God didn't make mistakes. Yeah. He's almighty. He's almighty. And if he made us different, then for some reason or another, I think he thought we would be able to get along. Mm -hmm. Because this is God's world, not ours. Mm -hmm. And we need to learn to live together in this world. And you know what the main word, the main four letter word is? L O V E. If we truly love God, we will love our fellow man. That's sweet, Miss Irwin. That, that, that tied right in with our mm -hmm. theme because uh, it's a let freedom ring. Uh, none choose. Choose. Choose nonviolence. Choose nonviolence, and uh, you can't have you can't ring freedom in with violence, and so you know. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things. That's a good thing. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we got violent everywhere. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And so it's always a need. Yes. Mm -hmm. And violence just comes out of hatred, comes out of evil. Yes. And you got to get rid of that. Yes. Get rid yeah. Of that. And there's, that's like you say, there's no freedom. It, it, it no freedom in, in evil, in sin. And, right. But so many people get caught up in society yes. and they won't step back and look at 
the way Dr. King did That's and right. look at society as a, whole, as a whole and the issues that we need to address mm -hmm. and how to address those That's issues. Right. The proper way to go about it, the right way to go That's about the right it. Way. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm glad that y'all are here today and we have a, a Grand Marshal again this year um, who is from our community yeah, from and coming community. back. Share with us about a Brother Curry. Okay, our Grand Marshal for this year is John B. Curry, Jr. Uh, Mr. Curry is the son of the late John B. Curry, Sr. and Annie Travick Curry of Dublin. Mr. Curry has become Captain John B. Curry, Jr. Hmm. for American Airlines. And uh, Captain Curry has been flying for the major airlines since 1996. Mm -hmm. And uh, he spent 10 years flying for the U.S. military, first for the U.S. Army before transitioning over to the U.S. Air Force. And um, Mr. Curry is believed to be the first African American pilot from Dublin and the first pilot to fly as a captain for a major airline. Wonderful. Uh, he is the grandson of Lois Travick and the late Robert Travick Sr. and Teresa Hughes and the late C.H. Hughes of Dublin. And Captain Curry uh, Jr. has been a pilot for American Airlines for the last 17 years, uh, where he flies internationally to Europe, South America, and the Caribbean on the Boeing 757 and 767 aircrafts. He is now a captain on the Airbus 319, 320, 321 series aircraft. And he is a 1983 graduate of Dublin High School and received his undergraduate degree in management from Georgia Southern University and a master's degree in internet technology with a concentration in information security from Nova Southeastern University. And we are so proud to showcase our young man that grew up here in Dublin mm -hmm. as our 22nd Grand Marshal. Mm -hmm. Captain Curry. Captain Curry. And uh, he resides in Florida now. He resides in Orlando, Florida mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And be up for that, that wonderful event. And we want you all to be a part of it. We've given right. you the numbers. We have them on the screen for you now. So you can get in touch with these fine people and be a part of the parade. Now, we enjoy filming it every year. And the phone rings and the phone rings and people go online and watch the parade and they love this parade right. from all over the area, not just in our town, ladies and gentlemen, but all over the place we get comments online right. who watch the parade and appreciate it. Yes. Right. And we appreciate right. y'all. And we appreciate you all. Right. Well, we're going to all keep working together. Yes. Right. Because, again, that diversity is important. Yes, right. Yeah. And, and so you need to be a part of this event. We want you to do your part. If, if the uh, one thing you do is to gather the family together and come down at 12 noon on the 16th and enjoy that parade through downtown Dublin, that's your part. That's right. right. You do it. And it's only $35 for entry fee. Okay. And we are still accepting entries. Mm -hmm. And we'll be right up until time. Right. Well, we want you to be a part of it. Don't miss out. It's your church, your civic group, individuals, businesses. Be a part of the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade, 22 years and going strong. And we do want to thank everyone who helps us to put this parade on, and we have excellent participation. You do, don't all you? segments of our community, mm -hmm. schools, churches, organizations, mm -hmm. um, civic groups, mm -hmm. you name it, we have it, mm -hmm. and we appreciate it. 
Uh, we have a very good committee that we've work, been working with us over the years. Yeah. Yes. They help us put it on. They behind the scene, but they don't want no credit, but they, they do a good job of helping us. Workers. Workers. They want to work for, for what's right. And for what's again, right. we appreciate that. Glad to be a part. Looking forward to the event. Thank you for joining us today. And thank, thank you. you for inviting us. All right. Thank you and stay tuned, TV 35. Keeps Georgia on my mind. Georgia, Georgia. I said just an old sweet song. Keeps Georgia.